What's up everyone, it is Ash, I am back with another car video. Today I am back at Dunsfold, only this time for Wings and Wheels, and I am joined by my good mate Sam. It's me, it's Sam, another month or two here. We are currently surrounded by cars, by Mustangs. Mustangs. Let me, let's show you this one. Have a And we're surrounded by revving V8s. We're surrounded by revving V8s. I don't know what's going on. comes the big reveal. Five litres of V8 in all its glory. Oh With a supercharger on top. <laughs> With a big old supercharger on top. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're basically in Mustang Central now. <laughs> I love the bonnet held up by the Red Bull cans. Obviously, it's been modded with Lambo style scissor doors. Is that right? Yeah, Lambo style scissor doors. Looks really good on a Mustang, actually. Sorry? Looks really good on a Mustang with scissor doors, I think. It's a nice touch. Actually, look, look at the scissor doors, how they work. Yeah. You could have a good one. Yeah. This one's interesting. We've got the matte one. I never thought a Mustang would look good in matte, but a matte kind of maroon colour. And I, I particularly like the uh, rear window replaced with the carbon fibre vents. They are pretty cool. Normally carbon fibre looks really chintzy. Well, they've got carbon fibre uh, skirts. I wonder if they've got carbon fibre splitters as well. Let's see if they've got anything like that at the front. So obviously carbon fibre dotted around, <laughs> around the mirrors. Uh, a few small places. On the front. See, this, yeah, is, got the splitter. this is good use of carbon fibre. They call it the tiger. You've got the tiger and next to it you've got the coyote. Got the coyote. Which I love. The, I love the addition of the little green. 
little green racing stripes, the tiny little what, <laughs> green ones. It's a nice effect. Oh no! The lights. Damn those lights! This one's interesting. Uh, I didn't realise this is the actual 2.3 litre turbo. turbo. I'm assuming this is the Eco Boost one. Have, have a look at the exhaust. And I have, I haven't seen, that. I haven't seen an Eco one before. No. Not really a lot to tell the difference by. No. Other than the sort of the back, so if you compare it to that one, this little bit. I mean I've only ever been interested in the five litre V8 ones, so I would assume this is the eco boost. Most likely. This is what they all want to go down to, isn't it? Because it's turbocharged and they don't want to have the big uh, V8s anymore. Yeah, but how can you have a Mustang without a V8? Well, then again, when the Americans ever listen about uh, saving the environment, you know, you want that on your Mustang, really. I'm all about that V8. So much to see. I mean, there's hot hatches, there's classic muscle cars, we've got Honda S2000, Japanese import cars. There's a lot more cars we're going to show you guys. This is. <laughs> This is golden, so this is the Sierra Sapphire Cosworth. Hot Fords. One of the most yobbo-ish So cars. next up we have the Chinook. This one Chinook. every single person wanted when they were a child. Yep. The Elephant Valley Dancing, we have the choose from the Chicano, they're going to take off and hold. And then we will hand over And then in more modern times they upped the yobbishness to the Focus yeah, RS. <laughs> DVDs. I think Jewel had used this one. The tutor is lined up from the beginning of the runway on the ORP there. He did. He raced it against a Gallardo yes. 560 Spider. That's exactly what he did. And Lots the Gallardo won. Yes, it's surprising. <laughs> I have to say. And and finally, it the Chicano somewhere. Yobbo. It does. Yes. It's got a very. It's almost metallic. What I really love, though, is the one over here. So not not this one. Well, it's nice too, but this one is the sort of anniversary. The GT40 throwback. Yes. <laughs> Which I love how I don't know if you can see. Got a model of itself inside, <laughs> so we can see what he looks like on the outside on when the he's driving inside. it. That yes. is smart thinking. I also, like. don't see the wheels here. It's got black with blue around the outside, blue edging, and then just Ford and RS, just to get you there. Okay. Okay. RS everywhere. It's like a Beamer. It has the M everywhere. Sure. So when we came over here earlier, I wasn't sure about it, but I I really like it now. Oh, yeah, it's quite big as well. Well, we have heard that it's possible that we might lose the current space. Two guns with one more than a couple of years. Here we go. Not just that, Ash. Once again, we've got to see it better this time. It wasn't really visible on the Corvette Stingray earlier. No, but the exhaust once again. You've got more black holes. Yeah. I've seen a number of RS's on the road, and well, they are very loud. They are pretty wild. And then next to you, we got this. Oh, look, I actually don't like. This is the man of black. Low rider. This is the body kit. That's I like the green accents. I do like the green accents. It's another RS. The only on the inside has got green stripes everywhere. Come on, okay, so I am now going to hand my microphone over to this young man. With a giant splitter. You think about how big splitters normally are? What happens? Do you think it gets? Uh, do you think it needs to be towed a lot? <laughs> We've got another Sierra Cosworth. Oh, this is like classic territory now. This is getting on much, much older than the first one. Isn't this the one that was the most stolen car? Came out. Yeah. More, well, I think more people stole them than brought them. You, you, you can steal one now, or you can buy one in a month. Yeah. Pitching back down now, give them a big wave.
pretty much joined the Mazda MX-5 owners club now. That's exactly what this is, <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. We've got a limited edition Caro Mark IV. Oh, that is quite nice. Are they going to do it in white? Because it's going to get dirty real quick. It does look good in white. This is quite new though. Then again, it's younger than that. But I think if you have an MX-5, you've got to have the road stuff. You have to have the road stuff. You can't have a half of them. My personal favourite one, the Mark II. Yeah. My stepdad had a Mark II convertible oh, yeah. and it was bronze but yeah. we had to get rid of it because my sister was born <laughs> I still hate her for that yes they've got awards they do yeah <laughs> I like this one it's very different for an MX-5 yellow not just that can you see how the front bends round it looks like this one's always in a body kit isn't it? Too I'm not a fan of the styling, if I'm honest. I like the split of green ones. I like this green one. It does look good with style, with those wheels. Mm. See, this is better with the front end. Yes. It looks less like it's trying to be something else. Definitely. And it's being an MX-5. But the one that everyone fell in love with, the Mark 1. Mark 1. It's, it's really nicely modded. Yeah, I love it. Especially that engine bay. Whoa. Look at that. It's the detail. Oh my god, we've got an aircraft on the runway, Ash. And obviously the Mark 1 is the one that had pop-up headlamps. Pop-up headlamps. You can't not love pop-up headlamps. Well then again, what woman can resist pop-up headlamps? <laughs> you know? Pop-up, bang! Oh, he's in your bed. Nice row of Mark. Oh, we've got some planes going now. It's going to get loud. you modify to make better. Yeah. saw this going down the airstrip the main straight, earlier, going down the main straight. when it was raining. 460 I, I love the Stingray badge. It is great, isn't it? They brought it back. They brought it back from the original Stingray. Yeah. I love this, I love this, really. That's how you do an exhaust system. That is how you do an exhaust Trumpets, pretty much. Trumpets. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it's a really good wear of it. It's part of a lot of European. More Mustangs. I think they're just mocking me now. Oh, that's the Roush one. The one on the right there. But this one is a normal GT500. Chrome wheels. <laughs> Just looks so good. And here we have, instead of a rear window, once again, we have the vents. I mean, when you've got a car like this, you're not going to be looking behind very much, are you? Can, can I just draw attention to the Roush exhaust? You can draw attention to the Roush exhaust. I can probably fit my fist in it. Well, can you tell what it is yet? Let's zoom out and give you another look.
It's a Toyota Supra. Made famous by the Fast and the Furious. Which Fast and Furious is that? Well, there they are. The first one, the red, in this orange. No. And it's very rare to see one this stock. See, everyone who buys a Supra modifies it to extreme lengths. Now, this is actually fairly stock. It's a rare thing. It is rare that you see a, fo a normal stock one. Rare thing to see a Supra. Rare thing to see a this is where it's going to get noisy. If you have kids, warn them. And, and then, of course, Ash, do you want to show off that big rear wing? We are now going to roll. Look at this. I think the rear wing on this car has reached legendary status. I mean, it's yes. up there with the Subarus. Limits. Why don't you stand next to it? Let's get you in the shot. Ash, turn round. You know I said the exhaust on the Roush Mustang was big? So we're still at the Supra. We're still at the Supra. Still at the Supra. Check this beast out. Like, that's not an exhaust, that's a black hole. <laughs> Here are some Citroëns. Right, that's done. Right. And in amongst all the Citroëns, we found an somehow, Evo. There's an Evo 9. 9 or 8. It's an Evo 9 or 8, I know that much. It's got no bearing, so I can't I'm tell pretty you. sure it's a 9. Like an eight. Right, so like I, a nine I thought that Supra had a massive rear wing, right? This this <laughs> this is a much bigger rear wing. This takes it to another level. It's nice common fiber. Come and look at it. It is. Look, look at it. It's very nice. I love unpainted carbon fiber. It's gotta be used right you know though. What I, you know what I prefer? Unwoven carbon fiber. Yeah. Natural carbon fiber. And also like the Supra, check that exhaust out. Once again, huge. Not just that, I want to have a look at these rims as well. Come on now, one more empty car on this ride, come on, take your seats, come on, one more car. Do you want to have a little bit of a sweep there and just show us what well, this, is, this is around? I mean, why would you? Why would you have a look at all of it? I mean, it's like a Citroen frenzy. Citroen, 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 Citroen. Mitsubishi. Oh, oh my god, Mitsubishi is in the middle <laughs> there. I'll just throw that in. By far the best car here. Yes. Are we now, Sam? We were, we promised we were at the Honda S2000. I'll just take you around the rest of the S2000s. I think... I think if the MX-5 didn't exist, this would be the roadster I'd have. It, it would. It would. I think that's the only reason the S2000 isn't as successful, is because of the MX-5. But to be honest, when I look at the side, this one is a good one. It just looks sporty. You know? Yeah. It looks like it's fast, even though even if it's not. S2000 on the face, yeah. nice little touch. Yeah. 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 I mean, you can mock what you want, but I love typing on this. They are great. Well, this one's Thank good. Thank you very much. Yeah, just... Right, we're going to go Sounds good. Right, Sam, you got something wrong, didn't you? I got something wrong. When we were watching the cars go down the airstrip, I'm ashamed. You said the car next to us was an Aston, Aston Martin. Martin DB1. It's not an Aston Martin DB1. It's a Jaguar D-Type. 
Um, we were far, far, far away. We were far away, and my eyesight shit. That's no excuse. That is true. Okay, there's no excuse. Let's have a look at the, uh, the uh, interior of this. Of how the people are separated <laughs> from by a piece of metal. Look at the rear view mirror. I mean, I want to get that in my car so I can stop people messing around with my radio. That's a good. That's a good. <laughs> Look at all the switches. Got switches. Like, come on. I just also the love feature I like this is this rear. like shark fin on the back. That is proper aerodynamic. When you go around the corner, you get the wind. <laughs> What have you got to the left? Ah. It's a cobra. It's a cobra. It's a cobra. It's a cobra. I can't remember what it raced in. The Indy 500. No, not Indy 500. What the hell is that coming out near the, uh, the bonnet there? Actually, I this, say bonnet. this is my favourite bit of the car. I say it was coming out the bonnet. What is there? Chevy Camaro. Yeah, that's nuts. 7.2 litre, 950 brake horsepower. Is that legal? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> it's got to be legal now. <laughs> then again, it's mostly for drag racing, we're not going to throw wheels. Well, there's no tread on it. <laughs> uh, so we found this uh, Nissan. 370Z? 370Z. 370Z in white. I like it. I like it. And then all of a sudden, we found all of these. <laughs> JDM to NASCAR. Yeah. Um, wow. This is not something I was expecting. Just look at all these NASCARs over here. Let's just have a look at inside. Let's have a look at what these drivers are in. That's how you tackle weight loss. That is how you tackle weight loss right there. Then again, they're not exactly short cars. They're pretty long. But they aren't heavy. They're practically... They weigh nothing, almost. So let's have a look at the engine in here. Maybe see the lights look our stickers. Yeah. Do you think they could have, like, lost a bit of space? <laughs> In all of this. This being, of course, Toyota. But look at the splitter on this thing. This I actually call the Chevy splitter. The Chevy splitter. And we've got a Pontiac over here. A uh, Hulk inspired. Look up. Ah. Daddy. You know how most spoilers are like to let air uh, down and push you down? Most spoilers aren't flat. I like how they have these. Do you know about these? So these are to push the air against, to push the car, to stop it from rolling when it hits the... Um... Yeah, so these all deploy, so that will raise up. This bit here, raise up um, to stop you spinning, or when you do spin, to stop you from rolling. Thoughts? Thoughts? I mean, they're bigger than I thought they would be. They are quite long, aren't they? <laughs> they're very long. Just got you in the picture here with a Mustang. Are they, uh... Would you like to take one home? I'd like to take a lot of cars home. <laughs> and with... The ones over here, which is where we're going next. Can I ask you a question? If I was to tell you the car that I'd most likely want to get, what, do you, what would you say? You would most likely want to get. Yeah. With all the cars in the world. Yeah. Ferrari 458. So 
where did the 458 come from? It came from this. The F430. Spider, this one, though. Yeah, you can't buy it. No, 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 you have to kill yourself. Because how can you own this and know that the 458 exists? Once again, apologies for the planes. Let's have a little look in the interior there. It is, it is. We've still got that prancing horse. That is true. Let's have a look inside there. But look at the size of these intakes. Huge. What have we got going on here, Ash? Mustangs. You look, so, you look unhappy. Mustangs. Yeah, it's over there, isn't it? You're angry you're not driving a Mustang. Some really, really nice cars out there. Well, oh, this, this is what practically the uh, Shet, the um, AC Cobra was based on, right here. Now this, where was this hiding? I didn't see it. I didn't see that earlier. Where was that hiding? <laughs> That's a proper space car, isn't it? Oh, here we are. Now we got the Citroëns. Rev it up, rev it up. They can't rev it up, it's a Citroën DS. DS3, sorry, I should point out. Oh, but here comes the big Dodge. I wonder if he's going to rev his engine a bit. Probably. That, there it goes. Oh, a crackle on the way down. Now we've got this lovely Beamer, the V8. A bit more refined. Oh, Ash. Oh, you're going a bit fast. Sam along, that'd be a good one. So, this is not our last trip to Dunsfield, but we will be back very soon. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Bye, see you in the next video.